Thanks, everyone, for what you've been doing over the last months since this pandemic started. It seems like March was a long, long time ago. Uh, it's wonderful that churches are open and people can meet together. It's great that people have been able to continue the online. And I think if we can continue doing both of those things, we are going to continue to bless people both in the physical meeting, which is so, so important, but also uh, in reaching people who are not feeling secure about coming out, but who want to connect, to worship, to hear the word of God, to pray, and maybe share in communion if they can. So what on, what on earth to say at, at this stage? We just had the Prime Minister announce the so three tiers. Uh, we've got a whole kind of winter ahead of us, people worried about Christmas, the job situation, uh, mental health issues, whole things piling in and people feeling tired and worn out. So what on earth can I say or we say to each other to help us and encourage us? Well, there are just three words that I've got that we seem to be doing these sort of three three word things, aren't we, in terms of what the government and others are saying. Um, it's not that they're anything new, it, we're doing it already, but as I was just thinking about what we might say to folks at this stage as we're looking into uh, this new season, um, pray, care and trust, okay? Um, pray for the government, pray for the hospitals, pray for the communities, pray for local authority people that you know, making incredible decisions. You don't have to agree with everything that they're doing. We're told in scripture to pray for each other and for leaders especially, and now more than ever we need to do that, I think. And if we can just be renewed in a faith and prayer uh, for those people, even letting them know that we're doing it, that would be terrific. Care. We, we don't know what the next few months are going to bring. Uh, it's it, likely that people are going to be losing jobs. There are students, there are people at school anxious about what social interaction is going to mean. There are going to be financial challenges. There are mental health challenges. The one thing that we can do as well as pray is care for one another in small ways. Um, my mother, who I mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, once we went in, she sadly died in August. It wasn't through COVID, it was uh, just old age, she was 95. At her funeral, my brother in his tribute simply said uh, to the church, thank you for the care that you showed her in the last months and weeks of her life. Uh, phoning her card, just letting her know that she mattered. And there are going to be ways in which we can do that for one another. They won't be the big dramatic thing necessarily, but the small things. As we prepare for Christmas, how are we got we don't yet know what the rules are going to be, but let's be thinking and wondering how we can care for the lonely, the elderly, the people who are not going to be connected with others, so that nobody is left out, whatever the challenges that we face. And lastly, trust. <laughs> We're not going to pray or care unless somehow from deep within we, we, we are able to renew our trust in God. Trust in the Lord uh, with, with all your heart, says the, the, the writer to the Proverbs. Lean not on your own understanding, cast all your care on him. He cares for you, is what it says in 1 Peter. And, and <laughs> maybe this is the chance above all to, for us to do it. Trust isn't a sort of a ticket out of trouble, but it is an invitation for from the living God to know him and experience his faithfulness to us and I ask myself and I ask you for us to do that in a deeper way uh, we don't know what the next few months are going to bring uh, we, we, we are going to continue uh, as the people of God because of uh, God's love for us in Jesus Christ through his Holy Spirit so would you just at this moment as we look forward Pray and care and trust and let God's blessing be in us and on us and through us right out there to those who need it most. Thanks.